We will invite Reverend Ishmael Tekranfedi to come and tell us officially why we are here. So put your hands together as we welcome Papa Afedi. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Reason for my creation started as far out back as far back as 2017, 2018. And it has become an annual program that we normally hold. Except the 2020 during the COVID time that we could not honor this annual program. The main reason for our creation has been determined by God. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God said, I knew you before even you were conceived. This program goes to awaken in us the purpose for our creation. And for this year, we are celebrating under the theme, living a glorified life. Living a glorified life. And for you to live a glorified life, you, life, you must recognize and come to terms with God for the purpose for which you have been created. And when that purpose is recognized and, and detected, you work towards it. And that will lead you to fulfill your divine giving mandate or your destiny. We want to ask that everyone will zoom yourself into all that is happening. We have not met here just to be singing and just to be dancing. The time will come for us to hear the word of God. And even the sons ministration will minister to you and encourage you and comfort you. And I believe there will be healing through our ministration, healing and deliverance. So you tap into the anointing that has started flowing and you will be a blessed person tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We would like to invite our own mommy, Mrs. Benis Noel Mesa Kute, the headmistress. Oh, can we be on our feet? Can we be on our feet? As we do it better, we clap for mama. Ah, yes. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Keep doing it. Mama is not yet here. Keep doing it. Keep doing it until she gets here. Add a shout. 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 Oh, let's do it better for mommy. Let's do it better. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. I want you to turn to somebody sitting closer to you. Say, hey. I didn't hear that. Say, hey. If you are not ready to dance, give me space. 
If the person is too close, tell the person, give me space, 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 space. Hallelujah. Once we have been welcomed by the CEO of the school, we continue with our program by taking administration from the, I would say the home team. Ah, you didn't hear that. I said the home team. And therefore, we will take administration from amazing praise.
One, two. So the essence of my praise is centered on your brain. Oh, Adum, Adum, Wadum, Ya to say, Adum, oh, Nyami, Mi Nyami, Adum, We are seeking for Jesus. Adum, Mi Nyami, 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 Mi Wabawa mi ni jesufobia Semia wudi ma besini Why na mi fasi na mano Ti Why na mi boniti Asembe na mi ka Na kama semia mobo Na wuche mi aduma chedie Sana wunyu matie Minyamie Sana wakwa etie now I wanna go for to say, Sakanya Radia. Oh, I can't even hear Sufobia. Mire, also be some money. Now I had a no more. We have a little bit of a woman. What for me, Fisumina? I pray me of this year. Just be quiet. And you, Nyam Kang. Nyam Ye, Guama. Mami Street, eh? Mami Street, eh? Mami Street, eh? Yes, And you, Nyam Kang. Oh, Nyam Ye. Nyam Ye, Guama. Nyam Ye, Guama. February, one and you say, Oh, Joe, that too for me Mia Oti Senya Mia Asafa Feli Ombra Beka Mayetio Yamie Kwa Ma Obiti Se Omira Yamie Kwa Ma Bu Fata Yeyo Yamie Kwa Ma Fata Yeyo Obya Rati Se
What a wonderful ministration. If you believe there is glory, then let's welcome Veronica Glory. Oh, let's give it to her.
put your hand on your chest and say, Jesus, you love me to my Oh, let's give it to her. What a glorious voice. Are you happy to be here? Are you happy to be here? Let me quickly acknowledge the presence of another chaplain, our own mama, Mrs. Jenna Dankwa Sasu. Let's give it to her. Let's give it to her. We thank the Lord. We are not just singing, worshiping. We need to also be fed with the word. Hallelujah. Are you glad to be here tonight? Then let me see your right hand. Wave it unto the Lord. Tell Jesus, my life is for your glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you so much. It is by your grace and not by works that we have come here tonight to gather at your feet to give our worship to you and to receive your blessings home. Lord, my prayer is that you have your way as we worship, build your throne and have your way into our lives. I present to you this clay that you will use it to God to glorify your holy name in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to take this privilege to appreciate the authorities of this school for giving me the opportunity once again to stand on this platform to share the word of the Lord with you. So headmistress and your able men or your able workers, God richly bless you for accepting my ministry in this school again. And I also want to appreciate the chaplaincy board um, in their meeting. I believe we have, there are a lot of men of God in the town, but the mantle has fell on me by your decision. God richly bless you. Then the, all the organizers, God bless you for bringing me on board. And I want to assure you that my standing here tonight, I will never waste your time by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. What are we talking about tonight? Reason for my creation, then living a glorifying life. You see, in life, we must understand that every product has a producer. Tell somebody by your side, every product has a producer. And every producer has an intention and reason and purpose for the product. Hallelujah. So we've been here tonight, we have been made in the image of God to reflect the glory of God to our world. So our Lord Jesus Christ, when he came on earth, when he was about to leave, the Bible made me to understand that Jesus came as the light of the world. So when he was leaving the planet earth, he realized that this light must keep shining. Hallelujah. The light must be there because even in creation, the Bible says that and thick darkness was hovering over the surface of the deep. And the Lord commanded that there should be light. Because God doesn't want his people to live in darkness. Hallelujah. So every believer, you have received the light of this world, which is in person of our Lord Jesus Christ. So every believer, it is a mandatory for you to shine. Hallelujah. So our scripture reading is being taken from Matthew chapter 5, verse number 16. 
I will not take much of your time because we have to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. I read. So let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. The word, the word over there, the let is a big word. It's a commanding word. It's not, this thing is not a suggestion. You see, the word of God People of God is not negotiable. Nobody can negotiate the word of God. The word of God must be the order of the day. Amen. Say, so let your light so shine. So that word let over there, I am, is a verb, is a doing word. So believer or child of God, you are the light that God has given to you. You must let it shine. Tell somebody, let your light shine. So you need to make a conscious effort to make this light shine. Because we are living in a dark world. We are living in a dark world. That is why Jesus has planted us here at this vantage point. For us to be shining, for us to be shining. And there is power in light. Because of light, we are seeing each other. If light should go off right now, you can imagine the mess. Hallelujah. So, the reason why people are doing things and they are going free, nothing is happening to them, the word has not come to an end yet. It is because of we, the believers, living among the sinners. That is why the wrath of God has not dropped on the heads of those doing the wicked things. Hallelujah. So I want you to talk to God as you are saying, tell God, say, oh God, give me oil in my lamp for me to keep burning to your glory. Hallelujah. So the purpose of God, or one of the reasons of God for creating us is to shine. So you can't afford. Hallelujah. You can never disappoint God in the same because whenever God is calling, some, he call, he's calling for something, he knew well what he has placed at the area he was commanded that thing from. We thought maybe God called the things out of nothing and they came to being because he knew where he has placed the things. So if God is commanding light from us, it is because he knew he has placed a light in us. So if you are here and you don't have Jesus, you don't have relationship with Jesus, then you have to make up your mind tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need a relationship with Jesus. And after having relationship with Jesus, you need to share fellowship with him. Because relationship is what you are to a person. And fellowship is what you do with a person. So without having a relationship with someone, you can never share fellowship with a person. Hallelujah. So you need a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you have Jesus in your life, your life will shine because he is the light of the world. If you don't have Jesus in your life, your life is in total darkness. So one of my friend pastors has been telling me that uh, at times he meets his um, Muslim friends and other religious, religious friends and he has been telling them that you can you. You can remain in your religion, but make sure you have a, a relationship with Jesus Christ. That alone, there is some hope. Hallelujah. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by him. Hallelujah. And the Bible say, continues to say that as you make your light to shine, then men will begin to see your good works. Say good works. When men begin to see your good works, their glory 
will go to your father. See, we are people in this life. Selfishness is killing us. Any good thing we are doing, we want the appreciation to come to us. We want the glory to come to us. The Bible says that whatever we are doing, we must do it heartily as unto the Lord, but not unto men. So whatever you are doing, make sure you are doing it to the glory of God. Words that comes out of your mouth, make sure they are glorifying God. Your dress code must give glory to God. Your associations must give glory to God. When you, are, you find yourself among friends, that issues that they bring on board doesn't glorify God. Those friends, you must distance yourself from them. Hallelujah. So there are so many things you can do to make your life shine. Some of us, even though we have the light, but the light has become dormant. I pray that from tonight, anything that is submerging the light of God in you will be cleared off so that your light will emerge. Hallelujah. Even a single match can scare away darkness. So if we have three believers in this house, we should be able to clear the darknesses away. So if you are a believer, you are living among friends who doesn't care what they do with their life. Use your light to influence them, inspire them to do good things. Because that is the reason for your creation. You must shine to cause darkness to disappear. Hallelujah. May the Lord grant you oil in your lamp. May you not be like the five virgins, the, the foolish ones in the Bible, that the Bible says that as they waited for the coming of the groom, they ran out of oil in their lamps. So when they heard that the man was, was coming, has arrived, as they want to trim their light or their lamps, the Bible says that because they have no, they, have, they don't have enough oil in their lamp. They couldn't meet the groom. May you not short oil in your oil in your in your lamp. Hallelujah. May the Lord help you to be able to let your light shine. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, the Bible says, We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Make sure your good work takes or influence your peers, your friends, your close associates, for them to know. When people see you, they must see God in you. When people see your lifestyle, your lifestyle should tell them that this is how God wants us to live. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the light of the world. Raise of redemption and life and salvation for the sinful and the rest to the weary. Such a wonderful man, he called us to be his friend, to partake with him and to partake. Of his strength, so we will love him, we will love him, we will love him, we will love him. He is the light of the world, resurrection and life, salvation for the sinful. And the rest for the weary, such a wonderful man, he called us to be, to commune with him, to commune with him, to partake of his words. 
so we will love you. We will love you. We will love you. to lift up your right hand to our God and begin to wave this hand of yours unto the Lord. He has called us to become his friends, to commune with him and to partake of his strength so that we can shine. Tonight, we have only one king among us. The Lord must wear the crown. The crown must be on his head alone. So all crowns must be laid down. Let all our crowns be laid down as we lift up the name of the Lord higher in the name of Jesus. Oh, be lifted above we lay our crowns and worship. Oh, believe that say, oh, believe the guest. No, no, you are not ready, so we are going. Are you ready? But before the guests will come, amazing praise will come. Okay. I am told we will let the guests come, but I'm not, I will say that I'm not qualified to introduce the guest. Qualified in the sense that there is a superior and therefore, I will invite Reverend Ishmael Afedi to do the introduction of the guest. Let's give it to him. Within his children. Today, or this year's reason for migration, we have to comb the system. And with prayer, and consultation the Lord has made available one of his maid servants one of the ministers of the gospel through songs hallelujah so with applause we want to introduce minister Ruth Ajay continue to clap as she comes. Sister, God bless you. God bless you for availing yourself for God to use you to bless his children. Amen. here. Do you agree with me? Exactly. The Lord took us straight through from Accra to this place 
We encountered so many challenges before getting here. Tell the one sitting by you, the Lord didn't bring us here tonight by mistake. Catch it, Otto and Jerome. And for whatever reason he brought us here tonight, it will be established. Tell the person sitting by you. Right, so let's worship the Lord. They will dance to the Lord. They will pray to the Lord. Don't tell the Lord to transform us. Give the Lord a better shout tonight. So if you're here with me, you just want to rise to your feet a bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not seeing the youth. I'm not seeing the youth. So we can tell Jesus tonight we are grateful for the gift of life. It is not everybody who has gotten the opportunity to be in school. I know of people who are still on the streets looking for their way. But for you and I, we have the opportunity to enter school. Our parents are still there taking care of us. It is not a coincidence, it is by grace. So if you are here tonight, you are sorry, you are not going to be here. You are not going to be here, you just change your position. Because you all got the life and the breath you are breathing tonight. Onyamiye Oye mami Esem esem ejana Onyamiye Oye mami Let the Lord hear your voice tonight Esem esem ejana Yeah. 
we go to hell, hell we all name. few minutes I always say when I go to school that you are the next generation coming in the face and that if you don't become a replica of Jesus there are too many things happening in our world today if you don't know this Jesus we are jumping and singing about it is a mistake. I know I have a few minutes, but my person is why you see at the episode. It is no mistake you are here. And that in every little thing you do in your hostels, in your classrooms, at prep, at siesta, even at your lunch, dinner, and supper, you will wish to be like Jesus. Your friend is passing by and is looking for Jesus. The person is devastated and struggling with his or her life. Let me just use hair because there are a lot of girls in here. He or she have met Jesus. So tonight, we want to make this prayer to the Lord. Mommy, 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 the Lord is listening to you. Open your mouth and tell him. Mommy, Subang, you know, you know, you Yes, yes. 
This is the day that you have made. And we have come to rejoice. And we have been glad in it. We bless you for taking us through this program to this point that we are ending. We bless you for the word ministration. We bless you for the song ministration. And we thank you for the healings. We thank you for the deliverances that you have performed. We pray that anything that you have done will be sealed with the blood of Jesus. We pray also for traveling mercy for all our guests who have come to glorify you. As they go back to their various destinations, may your presence go with them in the pillar of fire tonight so that they are able to reach even to your glory. We also pray for all of us as we retire on, upon our various beds. We ask that your protection will envelop us, especially against the works of the enemy. And may we wake up, O oh God, vigorously empowered so that we will continue in your service. We bless you and magnify your name. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. Shall we lift our hands a little and go home with the benediction of the living God. May the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding be upon you and dwell with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless somebody. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Can we all lift our hands and say, God, thank you. God, thank you. I can't hear you. Can you say it again? God, thank you. Indeed, we want to say a great thank you to God for giving us the opportunity to do this. Again, we want to say a big thank you to Chapman C. Board for organizing this for us and any other organizers that did this. To our guest ministers, we say God bless you for allowing yourself for God to use you to bless us. We pray that God Himself will strengthen us. Everything that we have lost from doing this, we pray that God Himself will replenish it for us. That tomorrow morning, when we see each other's face as sisters, we'll lift our hands in praise and we'll give more than glory. Amen. We take our closing prayer from Papa Afeni. 